What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of live grading. This week is going to be a little different because I had already built the look here, but I'm going to break down step by step what I did and why I chose to do it. For this footage, I wanted to create a modern commercial look that actually incorporates some film texture and desaturation and deep color density. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. It'll help the channel grow and let's begin. So the first thing I like to do when it comes to any of my color grades is I like to go into my IDT and ODT and set them up. So I'm working in a DaVinci wide gamut color space. So when we go into my effects tab, the input color space in the input gamma is going to be red because this was shot on red. And for ODT, it's going to be the exact opposite. DaVinci wide gamma here, DaVinci media here. Now you might notice that the output gamma is sitting on film lock. We're going to quickly change that to gamma 2.4 and I'll explain to you why. So let's enable IDT and ODT. So before I switch it back to sitting on film log and apply the LUT, what I usually like to do is set my contrast and balance before I do that. So I'm going to my contrast here and enable it. The footage itself already had a ton of contrast, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to lift my shadows up a bit and just create a soft contrast. So this is what the S curve looks like. And I made some adjustments with my lift gamma gain, even a little bit with my contrast slider. Then the next thing I did was I went into my balance and just brought all of this yellow as close to the center of my vector scope as possible with the help of my offset. As you can see, we have successfully separated him from the background. So now I'm going to apply my LUT, but before I turn the Cineon film log back on, I'm going to show you what it looks like without it on. As you can see, it looks terrible, looks really crushed. So now we're going to go into my ODT and fix this. Our output gamma is going to be Cineon film log. This is a proper conversion technique. And here we go. Much better. And now I'm going to go into my look. The main thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to incorporate a lot of cyan in the background and desaturate the image a bit. So this is what I got. What we got here is pretty good so far, but I'm not done yet. The next thing I'm going to do is going to apply the third party plugin from mononode.com. And I'm going to start shifting the hues a little bit there. I like that. It feels a lot more natural. So the, but to really clarify that I'm going to use another third party plugin with DCTL and mononode and see how yellow the skin is here. The mono balance, as you can see right here, has the skin sitting at yellow. And when it's sitting at yellow, that means the skin is natural. So let's disable this. And now I wanna incorporate more density in his skin and everything else. So this is what I did. Went into my effects. Once again, DCTL mono density version 2.2 and enabled it. We're getting deeper tones without sacrificing saturation with his skin, the racket, and everything else. Now, before I applied my halation and film grain, I wanted to address the eyes. The eyes right now are sitting a little too dark. So what I did was I zoomed in, I went into my eyes node here, <clears throat> created a power window, and shifted the lift up a little bit, and then I tracked it. And this is what I got. Let me just disable this show you before and after. It does just enough to bring him out without coming off as too fake. Now the next step I did was I noticed that there was a lot of noise right here. So I went into my noise reduction here in the beginning. These are my settings for it. And this is what we got. Now it's much, much cleaner. And now while I'm zoomed in, I might as well show you what I did with the halation. You can see it more in the racket here. And now let's apply the film grain. Now, the reason why I put the film grain inhalation towards the end of the node tree instead of the beginning like before is because I realized that anything after the film grain node would greatly affect the film grain itself. So before, when I was putting the film grain in the beginning, everything past that, all of this here, was affecting it. And I didn't want that. I wanted this and the halation to be the last overlaying elements of my image and therefore creating an authentic film look. And in this case, it's also meant for a commercial. Let me know if that makes sense to all of you and feel free to use it in your color grades. So yeah, this is my breakdown of what I like to do when it comes to creating like an authentic commercial. 
that has a film texture to it. And I'll leave a link in the description for the Mono Notes third party plugin. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.